Hi, this is Bujima Huntington, also known as Buju from Uganda, and this is Spotlight, a Cradle of Life production. Abuju is a short man with a very detailed profile. I come from Uganda. I'm a comedian. I'm the president of the Uganda Comedians Association. I'm also the managing director of Fun Factory, Uganda's number one leading comedy uh, group. Um, pretty much that, that, that is me. Uh, it all began at university uh, when I, uh, I was admitted uh, at Makere University in 2001 to be a bachelor's degree in drama. So from that time, that's where I started like doing professional comedy in 2001. When my lecture, I always feel to sort of supported me, and then we started the journey from that time to now. As I performed in 2001. Like I've been performing all my life. I've been performing all my life from uh, primary. You know, I used to do uh, plays at school, even secondary. So pr practically, I've been performing all my life. Uh, even when I came to university, I continued performing up to now. My ideas come from day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, everywhere I go, when I'm in bars, when I go to markets, when I'm home, I pretty much observe everything as content. Even when my children are talking to me, I see lines <laughs> of how I could make uh, comedy out of my life. So pretty much life from my surroundings. Uh, the perception is now changing for the better, but it used to be very terrible for us. Uh, because they thought we were jokers, failures and everything, until we at least have come up and even uh, Bobby Wine joining politics also helped the entire uh, creative industry to see us as serious potential people can even be presidents. So they're improving. They used to take us badly, but now it's improving for the better. Uh, by default, like uh, you see in, in Uganda or Africa, many uh, times uh, creatives do almost everything. So. I left comedy. Okay, I did leave, but I had to move into film because that that, that is stuff I also studied. Uh, I think it was just a, a small bit of my course unit, but I studied at university. And so it is it is more or less the same because we did, we film what we act in comedy, so it was easy to shift to start doing films as well. Uh, I, that was an accident because I was at a party, a friend's birthday party, and then the husband of uh, my ex-boss was watching me on TV doing comedy and asked me, what, uh, uh, do you, uh, what else do you do? I told him I write scripts. I said, hey, do you, my wife is looking for a copywriter. So that's how I ended up as Canada, and, and uh, eventually I went to Metropolitan Republic. I did quite a lot of stuff. I'm still doing stuff. That's how I ended up into it. Ah, my family life, I have a very, very super family. I'm married to a very beautiful lady, a loving car called Esther Mirembe. I'm blessed with four children, uh, three boys and uh, one girl. The girl is the last born. Uh, my mother is there, my father is still living. My brothers are there, my sisters are there. So pretty much, yeah. I have a very good family and I'm blessed to have one. Yeah. Um, uh, Phil Bruce Water was um, uh, one of my main mentors. He was actually my lecturer at university. He's the one who supported me to come and we start something. And I think I see a, a funny side of you. And he mentored me. That time I was also a big celebrity in Uganda. He was on TV, he was doing some uh, insurance ads for UAP. And, and in a way, he influenced me a lot uh, in terms of uh, thought process and how, uh, how to appreciate art because he was teaching me acting in class. So pretty much did that. And also now, of course, your parents mentor you when you watch when you're growing up. You see them directly. It's what they do. Yeah, the people around you, uh, leaders, not all leaders in Africa, of course. <laughs> if you, <laughs> yeah, that's where I get my mentorship from. And also reading a lot of stuff, so I get uh, inspired or mentored through stuff I read every time. I don't think, maybe uh, we wish we had social media much earlier. So it has really uh, made our work quite uh, simple and uh, 
and fast and that's appreciated easily, instantly. So even marketing and advertising is, is, is quite simple. So I would have changed it. I wish I could have started social media in 2001, but I can't change it. But the rest, Richard Tuanji, Richard Tuanji, he's my friend, he's one of my closest friends. <laughs> he knows quite a lot of me, uh, my ups, lows, uh, etc. He knows, and, and I think he'll do a great job, and he's a great actor as well. So I think Richard Tuanji will prove the job for him. Uh, life is what uh, you make it. Uh, I live uh, my life. Uh, not based on so many principles of society. Uh, I try to make my own judgments of how I do stuff, how I think it should be done, how to look at society. So I really don't, don't want uh, people to over influence me or do this because this one need this, that, and that. That is why I try to live that way. Uh, the the stress living uh, it really helps quite a lot. Even us guys who do the comedy stuff, because me even sometimes I laugh when I'm on stage. I mean, the way it helps me in losing up, like forget stuff that is happening, sad stuff, bad stuff. So for me, I think that's the biggest thing. I get it. <laughs> I may joke myself, when you see me, don't you laugh? <laughs> that, that should be a joke. Because I'm a joke and I'm, I'm already enjoying the joke that it's me. So I, I, I feel sorry for you guys who are watching me. <laughs> but it's cross in the obstacle really my height I was supposed to be an international goalkeeper if you guys didn't know <laughs> I was the yeah, yeah. sadly uh, there's a gentleman a father who was very influential in Ugandan sport he was called uh, Father Cornelius Ryan he really um, like started the sports academy kind of setup that we see in Europe that uh, the clubs have in Uganda he started in St. Henry's College, he told me then shifted to St. Henry's College where I was studying from. So when he came through, he loved me and also I was in the, in, in the team. I was a goalkeeper, but I was too short. So this guy gave me pills thinking that <laughs> I'll grow taller. Because <laughs> he loved me, because I had the skill of goalkeeping and everything. So, but things didn't happen and in a way, that was an obstacle to the height. But I overcame it by now embracing the fact that I'm short and in social media, I always probably love the fact that I'm short and actually I've appointed myself the president also of the short comedian. I mean the short people of Uganda. So I'm their president. <laughs> everything. Uh, but uh, the stories, the food, the weather, I mean, it's quite everything. The people, the loving guys. My Uganda is blessed and gifted. That's why we're the part of Africa. So I love everything apart from the leadership and the potholes and the, many things. But, but the rest, we eat the freshest food in the world. You know, we go there, buy from the street, from the garden, we eat. So everything in Uganda is good. To just be passionate. Uh, all of us don't look at money because uh, uh, the young guys who are coming through look at us and okay they see us they think we are rich so everyone comes with money getting money making it back fast and when they don't make the money because it's, it's never made that easily in entertainment especially in our country in Uganda so I advise that it's passion first then the rest will follow you that's what I've always been I think that all of us who have made it you stick because you never make money in the next day like in the first two three four five years it's just putting in learning and learning what you don't need then calling you being used and then they don't pay you but if you if you are you are impatient then you 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 won't, you won't make it so passion has to be number one then the rest will always fall. I'm proud of the fact that uh, uh, our industry has opened up and the nation is now appreciating from government 
And now we are sitting with presidents, uh, recently some of the president uh, even replied the letter, wrote me a letter, and we are we want to change also some legislation in regards to how we protect our copyright here. Um, like a, a private copy levy. We, we are trying to move legislation in parliament to be able that our industry is protected and we earn from it as, 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 as a whole, all the creatives in the country. Hey, I'm a very responsible father, old human being. <laughs> I, I look like a joke, like a joker, but the people I look after, too many, uh, I mean, the, and my extended family, my family, so, and also other relatives. Uh, so I'm a very, very responsible man, but people don't, some people don't understand. They think I'm just a comedian. <laughs> Uh, Swans Avenue mainly because uh, the owners, both the directors, uh, Julius Chaz and Ben, are my friends. And I've known them for quite some time. So I've been seeing how their um, label has been evolving and growing into what it is now. It's huge now. It has like performers and that's quite a lot of stuff. So also now I've been talking to them and seeing how I could do that and they've explained to me. So I opted to open it. So I want to create like an empire, create an empire like has music, you know, videos, um, production, um, writing, like quite, quite a lot, like one uh, art space that you can find everything. I want to have work with the um, influencer, I want to work with quite a lot. All talented guys can always come and collaborate with us and the alternative uh, group because it will have quite a lot of alternative music, alternative ads, alternative creatives, alternative media, alternative events. We will have quite a lot uh, and we've got a very good space, uh, a space that creatives come to and feel at home, feel fresh, feel challenged, feel inspired to create. Yeah. Uh, Martin Luther King, number one. My grandfather, who I never saw. Uh, uh, Mandela, it's a Mandela. Gandhi, yeah, so because I, I read quite a lot of their history and what uh, they need to to do what they did in their times. How many of those? Those are four. One, maybe I also Nyerere. Nyerere, Judas Mahali Nyerere. Because of five. Uh, thank you everyone and uh, thank you to the credo of life uh, for this interview and uh, sharing with creatives. I hope I've inspired all of uh, pricked your mind. Whoever, 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 whoever.